Hi, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your April 16th to the 30th, 2023 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy we need to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Here we have the three of pentacles. It's very interesting. So with the three of pentacles, it's three people watching on in this deck. This is the, the druid craft deck. It's three people watching on as one person works. And usually it's, you know, the three coming together and working. What we're going to see here is a real sense of I'm doing all the work and I'm feeling very overburdened. People can come and they critique and they'll say, oh, well, I should have done this or I should do that, but they won't help. So just be mindful of that, Aries, that we're, we, we take our work very we take a lot of pride in our work and to have people critique but not assist is going to be something that we find very insulting during this time it is it's just going to be insulting frustrating a bit overwhelming so just be aware of that so let's see the message from spirit angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly here we have abundance well that's nice to know at least that even though we're doing the majority of the work the abundance is coming to us so we can feel a little bit upset or taken advantage of but to know that we are abundant and we are powerful that's that's really beneficial so do hold on to that because that is is just is just lovely the abundance that is around us that is with us that is guiding us forward that is something that is really really cool okay so let's see what the tarot has to say angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Okay. Let me move this down just a bit. I know they're all reversed and that people can get upset with that. Don't don't get upset. Okay. It's it's not anything bad at all. It's just saying that this time it can feel a bit topsy turvy to us or it can feel a bit overwhelming. Be aware of that. We're having we could be having a difficult time connecting with our sacred masculine energy. So an acknowledgement of that is very important. We can also be having a difficulty creating, birthing forward, you know, conceptualizing, really conceptualizing what we want to create during this time. So that is also something to be aware of. We could also kind of have this energy of, <laughs> of a lot of people, you know, thinking they know what's best and coming in and saying, oh, it should be like this, it should be like that. We do have the reversed emperor and empress energy. There, we could be working with somebody, okay? Or there could be somebody in our lives that we thought was a soulmate. And we thought like, wow, here forever, awesome. Doesn't really turn out that way. So an acknowledgement of that, it, it feels like, oh, wow, I was really, really wrong. Instead of looking at it like, wow, I messed up, look at it like a lesson was really learned. And now I can move forward. And I'm just seeing a sense of like an etch-a-sketch, like just kind of giving yourself a clean slate will be very beneficial, very helpful to you. So do acknowledge 
that and understand that with you. We have the King of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Emperor. We have the Empress. We have the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. All of these cards are reversed. So just knowing here that during this time, we can just feel frustrated. So if, and I've been feeling this lately, you know, just a sense of being out of sorts, of being very emotional, of it being very intense, that's coming through. Are we going to like that? No, we're represented by the emperor, right? In the major arcana. We don't want to be reversed. We don't want to know that we're kind of getting in our own way or we're overthinking, we're overanalyzing. You know, we want it to be just right. And we're going to have to maybe say, you know, close enough is good enough right now. We don't want that. But stepping back and saying, you know what? Close enough is good enough. I have to be kinder to myself is going to be one of the most important takeaways of this time. With the King of Pentacles reversed, there is a real sense here of not seeing the way that everything is connected or there's somebody in our lives that wants everything to be connected and lined up and it's like well it's just not going to be that's going to be something again to come to terms with but we're also going to be looking at seeds that we have planted things that we have had we're reevaluating we're relooking at things it's not necessarily a bad thing at all but it is going to be something here where we're like oh okay well, i have to look at this differently and we can find that that happens during you know the the earth sign time periods and very much so on in, in Taurus time period, which is on April 20th, it's, it begins to May 20th. And then we have, what is it, Virgo time period after that and Capricorn time period. We might find that these time periods, we're looking at things and we're like, you know, if it just lined up the way that I wanted to, it's not going to. Be aware of that. Be aware that it's going to take a little bit more finessing or a little bit more work than we would we would like. It's not a bad thing. And again, I want to say this isn't a bad reading, but it is just something to be aware of. Then we have the page of, of pentacles. Okay. Again, earth side energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. This is student energy, but this is time where like, we're really stepping away from student. Okay. We're stepping away from the sense of, I have so much to learn. I have so much that I want to take in. And we're really setting into the fact of, I need to get this done. I need to move this forward. So you're going to have people come in and say, well, you still need to learn this, or you still need to know this. And it's like, okay, that's great. You know, I can, I can, you know, have, you know, a course on that later. I need to move forward this way. I do see this very much as a time of, I need to get these things done. The thing is you want it to be perfect. And this isn't time for perfection. This is a time, it's not a time of just like raw, rawness either. It's like, it's not going to be raw and not put together. It is going to be a time where probably what we have conceptualized in our heads and what we are actually able to produce in, in this time period. It doesn't match up, but it's not a bad thing. It's that we expect a lot from ourselves. And that's just an Aries trait. You expect a lot from yourself. So acknowledging that, understanding that, and then moving forward from that, that's going to be important. We can also have a child earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, again, where we're learning a lot about the way things need to be put forward or moved forward, but that's because we're tripping over this energy. It doesn't necessarily have to be a child. It can just be somebody who's very immature. So acknowledging that it could be at work, it could be at home where it's like, why are you always under my feet? Like, why are you always tripping me up? Being aware of this, also knowing that this person has a lot of get rich quick schemes, like, oh, if I do this, if I do that, it's like the least amount of work for the most gain. And you're just looking at them thinking, this isn't right. So, so being aware of this is going to be important because you might be the only one kind of calling them out or the first one to call them out in quite a time with the Empress reverse. This isn't a time of, you know, cultivating this creativity and, you know, wanting to kind of like that womb time, right? The, the nine months gestation, because usually the Empress is, is seen as, as pregnant. But what we're going to see here is that this is a time of creativity but this is also a time of, it's not going to be perfect. It's like, this is the time of doing the mock-up. You know, this is a time of looking at things and saying, well, what about this? And what about that? You're going to see the fingerprints. Okay. Stop thinking the fingerprints are wrong. That's going to be really important. There is also a sense here of, you might see, it's kind of, I'm just seeing like birds flying from the nest. Things are moving forward in a way of, wow, okay, this is now out of my control or, all right, I don't have as much say as I would like to in this. 
an acknowledgement of that and a even mourning of, of this transition can be important, but it's also going to be kind of thrilling. It's like, okay, well, what's going to happen next? With the nine of pentacles, okay, seriously, Aries, you need to take time to say, I'm in the present because you're in the past. You're looking at things. You're in the future. You're thinking about things, the present. You're just trying to put all the puzzle pieces together while thinking about the rest of the puzzle that has to be done. And that's going to really make it so that you don't enjoy this time as much as, as you want to, all right? You're achieving something really quite spectacular. And that's something to be proud of. I know you're going to say, well, with all the cards reversed, Spirit's message to you is still abundance. There is still abundance to you. This is These are all heavy hitters, all right? These are all power cards and, and learning cards. Yes, this isn't a time for you to learn. This is a time for you to put into action. And I actually see the Empress as like, I don't want this coddle. Like, I don't want to coddle things. I don't want to, you know, slowly see it come forward. I have a deadline or I have a way I have to move forward. This is what has to be done. We're missing being in the present. So just be aware of that, that we need to take our wins. We need to celebrate the wins. There's a lot of little wins around us that we're just not looking at. So, so be aware of this. Okay. With the emperor reverse, we have a tendency whenever our, you know, major arcana card comes into play and it's reverse, we have a tendency to get in our own way, acknowledging that saying, okay, you know, I see it, I get it. I don't have to like it, but I need to step back. And so knowing during this time, one of the best things that we can do for ourselves is step back, step back, then we step into power, step back, then we step into power. And that just should be our mantra. <laughs> you know, I step back, I step into my power. We're going to want to, you know, again, we're going to want to kind of hold the puppeteering strings. You know, we're going to want to hold the strings to things. We're going to want to kind of not control, but have a say, like it have a powerful say in it. And spirit saying here, step back. It's not relinquishing control, but see what happens. Step back, see what happens, and then step in. All right. And I know it sounds, it sounds odd to say, because I'm even sitting here thinking, it's like, okay, you're, you're the one in control of this. Okay. You're the one in control of things. You have a very powerful presence, voice, determination, focus, but it's like, step back, see what happens. That's going to be really important during this time because there's a sense of, it's like bordering a plant too much. It's like smothering the situation or becoming too invested that you, you can't see the finer details and spirit wants you to see the finer details. It brings us then to the King of Swords reversed. The King of Swords can be very blunt, very, I just want the facts, blunt, you know, overly blunt, overly like, it has to be like this, it has to be like that. So just being aware of that is important. Knowing that when it's reversed, it's like, okay, we have an energy around us who is blunt, who is, you know, who is really facts oriented, but they can also want to only look at the facts that they want to see, like only look at the things they want to see. And you're sitting there, you're like, I present this to you. I know what this is. I've been working on this, you know, you need to get off my back. They're not really going to. So just knowing that during this time, it can make it like, okay, this is just, think of them as an annoying fly in the room. Stay focused. Stay focused because this person right now, not really satisfied with much in their personal life, in their work life, in anything that they're doing. They're not really satisfied with much. And so they're going to take it out on, on you because you're abundant, because you're moving in the direction of prosperity, even though you're not seeing it even though you're having a hard time seeing all the pieces come together, or you think of just like, wow, all the work I have to do or all the things I have to get done. And spirit is saying here, step back, step into you, step back, step into your power. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is then the three of cups. Don't share too much during this time. The three of cups for me, when it's an energy to be mindful of, it is a sense of, you know, this person should have celebrated me. They should be able to be on my side. They're not. I have to acknowledge that I might have to work with this person. I might have to, you know, sit next to this person in class. I might have to be next to this person, but I have to remember that they're not celebrating me. And also when they are engaging or when they are charming or when they are, you know, whatever way that makes me think, oh, they're not a bad person or, oh, they really have my best interest at heart. They're really just fishing for information. So being aware of that is super important. Our subconscious message from spirit is luminous. There is 
there's going to be a sense of an illumination of things an insight of things, a deeper understanding of things. And it's like, oh, it works like that. Or, oh, it falls together like that. You're going to get a lot of these ideas and a lot of things coming together while you're falling asleep. So just be aware of that. Or at night, if you go for a walk, you know, make sure you're lit up properly, right? But know that a lot of things are going to start falling into place. And know that, you know, you're going to start seeing things and you're like, oh, it should be like that. Or, oh, it's, it's like this. So that's going to be very important. It moves us to our subconscious energy from the tarot. And this is the 10 of swords. This is, this is rebirth. This is really a sense of, I've had to deal with all this nonsense. I've had people coming at me from all sides. I've had these words coming at me, this chaos coming at me. And now I am being reborn. This is the darkness before the dawn. And this is also in our heads because we're working so diligently on this. We're so connected to it. We can, things become a little dramatic, right? So in the Rider Waite Smith deck, this is a person laying down on the ground, you know, with 10 swords in them. It's overkill. There's something here where it's like, it's overkill. It's overthinking. It's over analyzing. It's, you know, people being overly opinionated and it's just too much. Stepping back. That's why it's going to be so important for you to step back, get get out of your own head and then know that everything is transforming. Celebrate the moments because it's going to be, there's, there's just such a thing here. It's kind of like an assembly line where it's like, okay, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. And that's great. But be kind to yourself and look at burnout, look at being overwhelmed and, you know, do something to be able to calm and center you, whether it be Qigong, which is one of my personal favorite things or going for walks or meditating or whatever it is. And Qigong is, is like a movement meditation. So that would be very beneficial for you. Okay. All right, Aries. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy, as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Aries. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. God bless. Bye.